I'm here with London Brown, comedian and actor. Welcome, London, to Pop Style TV. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So it looks like you've been busy. Uh, you have quite a few things coming up in July, but I wanted to first talk to you about the beginning of your career. What came first? Comedy, acting? How did you sort of start? Um, but I started out doing you know just grade school plays you know and that sort of thing and that led me to doing easter plays for church and um into high school and then that's when i that's when i really started to take it really started to consider actually doing this uh as a career um that happened when i was maybe like i think i remember i can recall me being like 15, 16, where I was like, yo, this is something I want to do. So, um, so it's, it's been all right. It's kind of worked out for me. What would you say was your big, uh, first big break? So that started, the, I remember, I forgot, it was like one show in particular. And I remember I just got a lot of laughs. And I thought, I said, yo, this is, I like this feeling of being able to receive that energy from the audience um, very instantly. And um, so that was that moment. But then as far as the break, I probably would have to say, and I don't know. I don't know if I've gotten the break yet. I don't know. When you first got your part in the Bowlers, um, how was the process? Did you ex did you know you are getting it? Or you were well, surprised? I was at the time, I was working as a choreographer. And um, I was just really drained. I was, I was actually at my mother's house, laying on the floor in my brother's room. I get a call this and a friend of mine said, yo, have you seen, have you auditioned for Ballers yet? I was like, nah, I don't know anything about it. He says, well, HBO is looking for you. I said, okay. So he gave me my information and um, that process took about two months of just auditioning, auditioning, going back and, and getting notes and so forth. So when they called, um, initially that character was only supposed to do maybe a couple episodes. Um, and then after the audition, they decided to, you know, uh, allow the character to be one of the stars of the show. And I stayed on all five seasons. I read somewhere that you mentioned that that time was the best time of your life, but at the same time, it was the worst time of your life because yeah. you lost your brother. I lost my brother. So, and, and this was, um. now we're going into the second season. And that was an interesting space because I was I was right I was doing I was right in the middle of doing the thing that I love to do, um, so the dichotomy between those two feelings was was uh, was an experience. In, in in fact, I didn't even cry or really grieve about that situation until till well after the fact. Um, actually, there was one scene in episode I think episode uh, two of season two. There was a paintball scene. Uh, paintball gun scene and um i cried i remember i cried a little bit under the mask because i guess you know no one could see me under that mask so i remember just in between the scenes and then just still shooting the scene it was just a it was a rough space i don't know I, you know all of these things just kind of help build up my character for the other you know things that are probably waiting for me how was the past year for you? Um, it seems that you've been working during pandemic uh, because you have a Power Book 3 coming out. Um, so the past year has been, it's been a blessing for me. I've been able to work during the pandemic, so I don't complain. I never complain. Um, and as far as Power Book 3, I think people are going to be really excited about it. It's totally different from the other ones. You don't, in fact, you don't even have to watch the previous powers to understand what's going on with this one. 
you this can be your first introduction of power and you'll be able to follow along because it's the prequel um it's exciting it's touching it's good family stories the dialogue the script and the, the costumes because we go back um our series takes place in 91 1991 in south side jamaica queens and so it's just a nice throwback for everyone they're going if you were living during that era <clears throat> then you're going to be able to appreciate that that vintage um the, the vintage look up the whole thing between the cars the costumes the hairstyles and even the language but if you're not from that era you'll still be able to appreciate it because you, there's nothing on tv like it we kind of shot a little all over we shot in brooklyn uh everywhere in manhattan queens bronx we was all over new york and so um just being there in the atmosphere definitely helps us as actors uh tap in and connect because i have done projects where i remember i had to shoot something in l.a but it was based in New York. And so it's just a different, there's a different texture in New York City. Uh, you can tell from the, the buildings and the grit that that's, that's that creates <clears throat> the vibe of New York. What's next for you? What are you working on in the future? What are you hoping to work on in the future? And uh, are you maybe planning to try out something new, like a new genre or? So it'd be nice to get back, really get back in the club scene when I go back to New York this time. Because last time I, it was everything was shut down, I couldn't do it. Uh, but this time it'd be it'd be good to jump back in the flow of that and uh, flush out new material and that sort of thing. And uh, there's always some things cooking, you know. So I, you know, I'm sure we'll probably come back and, and do another interview about some of that stuff. But in the meantime, I, we're just trying to stay very focused and. Now that the work is done of season one, um, we're just kind of excited to see how it all fits together because my friends ask me, they, you know, they say, hey, what happens? What happens? What's going on in the episodes? We don't really know because we shoot out of, out of order. So it's new to us like it's new to everyone else. Thank you, London, so much. And I can't Thank wait you. to see uh, Power Book 3. <laughs>